What's up my friends? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, we're almost, almost in the bottom third, but not quite. We're at number 36 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022. It's a quarterback. It's Lamar Jackson. He plays for the Ravens. Need I say more? No. Let's get into it. To football. He's crazy when it comes to, to football. Oh my god, we've only been in, into the video for five seconds, but we've already seen some absolutely dynamite footwork. I tell you what, left, right, left. And he's not just doing left, right, left, it's it's the shimmy, it's the hip, it's the hip movement. You know what I mean? That's what makes a really, really effective stepper, because um, he's looking like he's going one way, but then he bangs the, the you know, bangs the opposite foot in and... and He's off, and uh, you're basically left absolutely bamboozled. Let's continue. It's out of situations that, like, how did he Hang on, that was four steps? Uh, to football. Right, left. He gets out of situations oh, that, like, how did he get out of... Me. Jackson to throw, pocket collapses, he backpedals, pumps So once, sick. Side steps, a tackler, so right to the right. 15, pumps, fires, end zone, caught! Touchdown! And he can throw. He makes throws and you're like, what, what's going on? Jackson left his feet. He's like a wizard. Like a wizard. A wizard. A wizard. A wizard. Look, if he sees someone, look, not every throw is going to come out, you know, a perfect spiral, as we just saw there. But he can, he can maneuver his body. He can get into certain positions that no other quarterback can, right? So if he does see an open receiver somewhere... That a, a normal, you know, a, a mere mortal quarterback might not target because their body, their own body, is not in that position. He can, he can sort of get there. He can, he can either jump or juke or, or stay alive just long enough to, to get in a position to actually make a successful throw. And it might not come out perfectly straight or perfectly spiraled, but it comes out. Am I talking shit? Most probably. Let's continue. It's hard to read and be patient against a player like that. You have to be so patient. And it's like, okay, I want to get him before he gets started because once he gets started, he can make anybody miss. Lamar Jackson with a magic show. Is this a running back or a quarterback? Bruh. It's just not fair. He's a cheat code. I'd probably say he's the most dangerous player in the whole NFL with the ball in his hands. And he's a QB. Oh! Is it Christian McCaffrey or is it Lamar Jackson? Either way, it's a five-step stutter step. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's very, very hard to tackle him. I think most people think that everybody in the NFL should be able to tackle him. That's not necessarily how it works. <laughs> you do everything yeah, right funny that. until that moment, and he still makes you pay for it. They're armchair quarterbacks, mate. That's the thing. I'm an armchair quarterback. He's a real-life NFL quarterback. There's a difference. I don't know whether to go low or go high, because he got so many tricks in his bag. Every step is almost another move and another defender going flying by. On play action, you <sighs> ride the play action now. You don't know if he's about to take off or he's on Mark Andrews right behind the linebackers. Jackson used play action to get the linebackers to fight and found Mark Andrews. Ooh. Through eight weeks, Lamar Jackson was near the top of the MVP race with 2,200 yards passing and 600 rushing. Through week 12, the Ravens were the one seed, but injuries ruined a promising season. Just a beautiful throw by Lamar Jackson. Sorry guys, um, I just got to plug the laptop in because the last thing we need is it to just completely just shut down. Nick Minnett. You got to be disciplined when you're out there. So, I mean, you want to stay on your guy and cover on the duration of the play. It was one play. We cover him, but, I mean, it was longer than a regular play. He's way back at the 30-yard line. Being chased by Garrett. Throws Not a touch. Wow. See, that's what I mean. If there's an open receiver... He can get himself in positions to, to make a throw. It might not be a perfect throw, but it's going to get there. And that's exactly what we saw there. The middle, touchdown Mark Andrews! Unbelievable! 
beautiful. Kind of peeking back there like this play's not over yet, but you see him scrambling around, running, juking people, still keeping his eyes down the field, able to deliver ball down the field. It's a 13-yard touchdown pass, but he launched it from the 13-yard thir touchdown pass. <laughs> Line oh, was what? I'm happy I'm not. Oh, that's rude to the receiver. Tell you what, if nothing else, 13 yards when it was a 40 yard pass. On the other side of that, that's Miles Lamar Garrett Jackson. and Jadavion Clowney, those are two fast guys. Those are definitely not anybody slow. Let me tell you how good this play was by Lamar Jackson. Not only does he beat the blitz, but at the end of it, Miles Garrett comes over and shakes his hand. I know he said, that was unbelievable. What are you going to do? They let him act like Houdini. Garrett went over, shook his head. Jadavion <laughs> Clowney threw his helmet. When I see you like turn it, I'm like, just stay there. Perfect. He hit my hand while I was throwing it to him. So I got to see this helmet being thrown. Like Houdini. Garrett went over, shook his head. Jadavion <laughs> Clowney <laughs> threw his helmet. When I see you like turn it, I'm like, just stay there. Perfect. He hit my hand while I was throwing it to him. You just never know what he's going to do next. Sick. Absolutely sick. Do we look at his stats? Why not? Let's do it. Just a quick, quick wee look. 25 years of age. Jeez, it, it's, he's certainly playing beyond his years. Um, seems like he's been there forever. He's only been in the, the league for... He's been in the league for four years now. So, there you go. January 7th, 1997. 6 foot 2, 212 pounds. Louisville from 15 to 17. Got picked up in the first round of the 2018 draft. With pick number 32... The last pick of the round, Baltimore Ravens, ever since. Most valuable player in 2019, I forgot about that. Two-time Pro Bowler, 2019 and 2021. Uh, NFL passing touchdowns leader in 2019, which contributed to him winning the MVP. Um, look, I'm not going to go through that list because that's absolutely ridiculous. But what we will do is look at his career statistics through four seasons 58 games uh what do we got here 9967 passing yards 84 passing touchdowns to 31 interceptions so it's about a three to one ratio now rushing attempts i don't know how many running backs in the league would have more rushing yards through the last four seasons uh but it wouldn't be many I mean, it, it couldn't be many. It's got to be five at, at tops. 615 rushing attempts over four seasons, 58 games, 3,673 rushing yards. Three th That's almost 1,000 a year, guys. He got 1,206 rushing yards in 2019, contributing once again to his MVP um, win. 21 rushing touchdowns himself uh, over four years, which... Once again, would be up there as far as actual starting NFL running backs. He's been sacked 106 times for a loss of 527 yards, 37 fumbles, 13 of which have been lost. So, you know, 37 fumbles in 58 games, it's actually, you know, a decent amount, I'm not going to lie, but... You know, it's, it's, it's that classic case, you know, in basketball. Okay, if they score 30 or 40 points a game, but they get turned over four or five times a game, well, it, it makes up for it, right? So if you're scoring 1,000 rushing yards a season, but fumbles the ball seven or eight times a season, I think that weighs itself out somewhat. I might be wrong. Let me know down in the comment section below. Either way, guys, on the next video, we're looking at Keenan Allen, number 35, wide receiver for the Chargers. When someone talks to me about footwork, when they talk to me about wide receivers, my top five wide receivers, he's always there or thereabouts. Probably not at the moment, but uh, possibly after this video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you then. Peace out.